In December 1911, Sir Douglas Morton chose this spot on Wireless Hill on Macquarie Island to erect a mast to facilitate communication to Antarctica. What we have here is the remains of this first mast which consists of three pieces of timber and two iron alloy elements associated with that mast. When Mawson set up the two wireless masts here, there was also two huts that went with it. One of them had a big um, engine in it and was housed here. This is the remains of this site. The other hut site was where the wireless um, gear went so that he could communicate with uh, Cape Denison. And so they all worked in together with the two wireless masts. There's very little of them left, um, just a few bits of the foundation and um, a couple of bits of timber and some old copper wire. And we're getting them um, marked be before it's all totally lost. The tussock grass grows up uh, quite quickly and surrounds everything. So what we'd like to do is just mark what's here and document it and then we have some surveyors coming in to um, just accurately locate these for the mapping and then they'll be going on to a historic map of Wireless Hill that'll include both the mast sites and the hut sites and the Flying Fox. So we were on the uh, metal ends, uh, as far as the rings go, the components are much stronger. But we're finding that the tusk in here is quite embedded. Highly corroded. We started to excavate component 3 
underneath some of the grass there was a, a piece of wire and it looks like it may have been part of the original okay. cabling. Uh, the, the lower section, because it's so wet and the soil is so wet and the timber is very damp, uh, with the weight of the roots of the plants that's been through here, this needs a lot of support. This is quite heavy and that's very weak. It's really hard to uh, believe here on Macquarie Island because it, it's a very windy site but you don't realise how much moisture is in the air all the time. The Flying Fox site was actually originally made by the sealers but very much utilised by Mawson to get all these materials up here including the diesel generator, all the mast poles um, and pretty well everything that they came up here um, to do including supplies, 